so I'll now explain what technology I use to replace a knee joint. But remember, there is more than one way to skin a cat, and you should ask your surgeon why they prefer the particular technique they use. We can all achieve great results for our patients, even with different methods. I have a complete video looking at the evidence around technologies and techniques about knee replacement on my website. So check that out if you would like more specific information. Now on my website, you will find a complete video that specifically explains how a surgeon replaces a knee joint. And in that video, I describe how the surgeon makes some cuts on the thigh bone to remove the disease bone and cartilage. What that means is a surgeon can position your prosthesis inside your knee pretty much any way we wanted to. It could be turned backwards or turned downwards to the side or the other side or twisted and rotated in pretty much any direction. And the thing about this is, even a small error of a few degrees in either of those directions can make a huge impact to the function and longevity of your knee replacement. So it's really important that a surgeon aligns the prosthesis inside your knee as accurately as possible. Think of buying a pair of jeans off the rack at a clothing store. If you're anything like me, you might find that you're in between sizes or that a classic small, medium or large doesn't quite fit you perfectly everywhere. Replacing your knee presents exactly the same challenge to your surgeon. We want a prosthesis to fit inside your knee and match your unique anatomy as best as possible. The traditional method of knee replacement involves a surgeon using various rulers and guide rods during the operation. These guide rods, or jigs, are literally inserted inside the hollow bones of your thigh and shin or attached to the outside of them during the operation. So with the traditional method of knee replacement surgery, when a surgeon is replacing the end of the thigh bone to insert the thigh bone prosthesis, they use a jig that looks just like this. Now this metal jig goes into the end of the thigh bone, which is hollow, and it runs all the way up inside the thigh bone, almost to the top of the hip joint. And once that has happened, numerous clamps and jigs are attached on this rod inside the thigh bone, and that helps the surgeon align and position the prosthesis into your knee joint. With the traditional method of knee replacement surgery, the surgeon uses the same technique as they did on the thigh bone, but also on the shin bone. And what you can see here is the shin bone, which sits beneath the knee joint, and the surgeon attaches this metal guide rod either to the outside of the bone, like I have here, or sometimes the guide rod goes down inside the shin bone, just like it did on the thigh bone. And what this enables a surgeon to do is to accurately make incisions in the bone up here and then position the implant as accurately as possible. Now we've been replacing knee joints like this for many years and the results with this technique are still very good. I choose not to use these traditional methods of knee replacement for my patient's surgery. Now one of the other types of surgery is robotic surgery or computer navigated surgery. Now with computer navigated surgery or robotic surgery, a surgeon is trying to achieve exactly the same thing, which is to align the prosthesis as accurately as possible within your knee. With robotic or computer surgery, a surgeon uses these metal pins. Now between four and six of these are required. And they're actually drilled into the thigh bone or into the shin bone below the knee. Now, once they've been drilled into the bone, sitting on top is a little communication device. And that communication device talks to the computer software to help the surgeon place the prosthesis into your knee joint. I choose not to use computer navigated or robotic surgery for my patient's knee replacements. My preference for knee replacement surgery is to use three-dimensional patient-specific technology. So prior to surgery, my patients have an MRI scan of their knee and also a special set of x-rays that show me the alignment of their entire lower limb. Specifically, the relationship between the hip, the knee and the ankle and every patient's anatomy is uniquely different. Now the data from these scans allows me to build a three-dimensional model of your knee with computer software. Now this means I can literally plan your entire knee replacement days before your surgery even takes place. I can then select the most appropriately sized prosthesis to match your knee, and most importantly, I can determine the best position of this prosthesis within your knee joint. We then build a three-dimensional model of your knee that looks exactly like this. 
And this is actually one of my patient's knee joints in three dimensions. So this is the thigh bone up here and the shin bone down there. So it'll just move back and forward like that inside their knee joint. The three dimensional model shows every little detail that is unique to your knee joint. And I have this model with me during the operation so that I can refer to it at any time. So based off the three dimensional model of your knee, we then build these patient specific guides. And these guides are designed to fit snugly onto the thigh and shin bone. And they match every little nook and cranny to fit like a glove. Now these guides will determine how and where I make the required cuts to remove the bone and cartilage from your thigh and shin bone. And these cuts in the bone are absolutely crucial because they determine what size the prosthesis is and also how it is positioned into your joint. So we use exactly the same principle on the shin bone as we did on the thigh bone. So there's the shin bone of the knee joint and there's the guide securely fitting on and matching that patient's knee. I explain what a knee replacement is and how this surgery actually takes place in a separate video on my website. So check that out if you'd like to learn more. I've researched the various technology and technique options that are available for knee replacement surgery and I've found this is the best solution for my patients. This may even change over time as we gather more evidence about what techniques give patients the best results. And I'm always happy to answer specific questions patients have about their knee replacement because the more you know and understand before your surgery, the better. If you'd like to talk to me about your knee, then please call my rooms at any time. If you haven't already had appropriate scans, I can easily arrange for these to occur before your appointment.